Hello! Today I'll be going over Backrooms level 88, aka the Cory Doors. This level is literally straight out of the 2020 to 2021 Backrooms. It's simple, it's liminal, and if you're looking for a blast from the past, then I think you're going to enjoy this video. Also, this level is home to some of the best resources in the Backrooms. So if you've ever wanted to know like what level to go to to get the best resources, this might be it. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Without any more yapping from me, let's just go ahead and get into it. Ciao. -y. Level 88 of the Backrooms is the 89th level in the Order of the Lore, and it has been classified as a Class 1 survival difficulty due to it just being a safe place to be. It has a safe nature, and it's also secure. This level is a great pit stop to make on your journey through the Backrooms, because you're about to get into really dangerous levels, because we're about to get into the level 90 plus zone, and those tend to be more deadly and stuff, so this level is a great place to relax. Level 88 takes the visual appearance of a single hotel corridor that stretches to infinity in both ways, front and back. This level is unlike many other levels because it only has one single hallway. There is not a bunch of offshoots, not a bunch of different corridors. Literally, this is one hallway that goes straight and back forever. The walls are light brown and they're slightly dingy, and the entire level has a dim but constant buzzing light noise that comes from the lights in the ceiling. The carpet strewn out of this level is very similar to any hotel carpet from real life. It is coarse, it is short, and it also smells like brand new carpet. That is what this level smells like, it is very prevalent. The main characteristic of the hallways, though, is that every 7 meters, there is a pair of doors on the wall. And this goes on for infinity. Without fail, every 7 meters, you have a set of doors on each side of the wall. Most of the time, these doors open up to common area rooms or empty sitting bedroom type areas with very little furniture. The rooms are often very dimly lit or lack light entirely, which of course means that some of them are common hiding spots for entities lurking around. Dullers, specifically, are relatively common to run into here, and they enjoy hiding in these dingy rooms. Because of this, you should not go fully inside unless you think you see something that you might could use, like supplies or a bed or something. There are actually a few things of interest that have been found on this level that I mentioned in the intro. These are typically objects or resources that can be very useful for your journey. And these are things you can't find in many other places. You can find knives and lamps and flashlights, and possibly the most strangest thing, royal rations. So royal rations are extremely rare to find inside the back rooms, and they're actually known for how hard they are to find. But if you do want to find one, you can come to this level for a greater chance to do so, and they're also a really high value item for trading with other people as well. As well as being a good food source that'll last you for a long time. One royal ration can last you literally months. And for a random level like this, to have them inside of them, it's a pretty neat thing, especially because of how rare they are. So literally for that reason and nothing else, you probably should put level 88 on your radar of things to visit. But besides the rooms and stuff that are empty with a little bit of furniture and dingy lighting, there are more types of rooms that you might see as well. I'll get into those in a second. The hallway itself here is medium sized and it feels slightly larger than a hotel hallway, but not too much. But besides the hallway, those rooms are the only thing you can enter. And walking inside of the rooms, you will notice that they are very large comparatively to the hallway. Now, you remember how I said those doors are seven meters apart? Well, the rooms can be much, much bigger than seven meters. From the outside, it looks like they physically couldn't be. But when you walk inside, there's these giant, ever-expanding empty rooms. This affects many things in the back rooms. Most of the rooms here do have light inside of them, but some of them are very, very dingy and dark. And I was talking about how they never had much furniture. Most of them just have like one or two seats and a side table, and that's literally it. They have the same type of carpet as the hallway, and they just have the same vibe as the hallway, but they're empty. But like I said, those are only some of the rooms, as there are more specific special rooms that I'm about to go over right now. These places have been noted as sticking out in design or functionality or have been documented for every wanderer's sake. The Extinguisher Room So the main thing in this room is the presence of a fire extinguisher in the middle of the room on a round table. Above the table, there is a light shining down that comes from an unknown source and it shines right on this fire extinguisher. 
Now, the only thing is, you can't move the extinguisher. No one can move it. No matter how hard you try, you cannot get it off the table. So it's just kind of there. It's kind of like the knights where you have to pull the sword out of the stone and no one can do it. That's exactly what this is. The next rooms have been called fluffy rooms by wanderers in the back rooms. And these look like padded rooms that you might see in a sanatorium or something. The floors, the walls, the roof, they're all covered in this padded, comfortable material. And these are renowned for being some of the best and most safest places to relax in the back rooms. No entities can get in there. You're just alone, sleeping on a padded floor with nothing to get you. And that's why I said this level is a great pit stop to make as you get the 90s and 100 levels and beyond. The labs are also rooms that stray away from the usual level design. These are cold concrete rooms with shelving and tables and other scientific equipment laying around. These usually look like they're in disarray. There's broken stuff on the floor. It looks like it's been abandoned for some reason, but these places could house Reviok entities, which means you probably shouldn't go inside unless you need some kind of first aid kit or some kind of scientific stuff. Now the wooded rooms are these indoor forest type areas with a very dark atmosphere. You'll obviously know that you're going into a wooded room when you open the door and in front of you is a hallway that is lined with trees. The trees are typically dark pines and it's always very thick inside these rooms, so it's just hard to walk around. Think of Narnia or something like that. Now, the last room that you might run into are called bedrooms, and those are exactly what they sound like. These are rooms with beds inside of them that usually have decor on the walls. Now, these rooms are deceitful and more dangerous than they seem because smilers typically hide inside of them under the beds and the closets here. So just watch out. Do not get lulled into sleeping on a bed because there might be a smiler nearby. Obviously, if you open the door and you see a smile inside, don't walk in, Dumbo. But besides these types of rooms, the rest are just like I said. They are plain, they are empty, they are boring, small or large rooms, but they could have those very useful items inside of them, which makes this level a really nice place to explore for a while, kind of open all the doors, see what you can find, and honestly, that's the only reason you should ever come to this level. For royal rations, for other supplies, maybe some knives, maybe some fire salt, things like that. What else would you need an infinite hallway for besides those things? There are no bases here, and to enter, you can do so from level 13 by finding a hallway that never seems to end. End. You can continue walking down that hallway, and then an exit door will appear to this level. And speaking of exiting this level, you can do that by finding an exit door, labeled exit door, and walking out of it to be taken to level 33. Now you can also find a wooded room, like I mentioned, and you can walk through it until you get to level 63. But yeah, this is one of those levels that you can skip right over while exploring without realizing how much usefulness it could have. I mean, having royal rations, weaponry, first aid kits, maybe medicine, all on one safe level, that means this place is one of the best levels to stock up on resources, which means you should add it to your list for sure. If you could even make it here, that is. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you did enjoy it, make sure you drop a like. While you're down there, check out my third channel, Spoogly, as well as my podcast with my friends. Uploading all those channels at least once a week. You know what it is. If you want more of me, my real life side of things, go to my Twitter, go to my Instagram. I'm always posting stuff on there as well. I cannot thank you all enough for your support. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video.